Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 4. I am so excited to play this as always. I absolutely love it. I can't get enough. I just wish I could play it all day long. It's riveting. Nico's story is honestly riveting and I'm obsessed. So let's get started straight away. Don't wait any longer. Let's go. All right, look, there are a few things I want to do this episode. Some of you have mentioned to go to the pier where we originally met Michelle. So I'm going to head there. And then next on our actual mission list order is to go and see Packy. I do vaguely remember he said he wanted a suit, but I'm bored of the suit that I have. I want another one. Do you, I don't know if you guys remember, but we had to buy that suit the gray pinstripe suit so quickly because we had that lawyer interview right uh, do you remember i don't know but that was not a pleasurable shopping experience for me because i i, I want to take my time looking at the clothes so this time i am going to look at the suits he did mention a suit and tie oh my god you are in serious need of a makeover. Excuse me, I look amazing. Please stop. Um, so these suits are all different. It just depends. I I'm sick of the I'm sick of the striped suit. But then I'm also wondering if I do get a black suit, is it going to be too dark? If that makes sense. It won't show up very well. I don't like it. Don't like it. I think I will try on the black suit. Oh. That looks really good. I think I think I want that one. But I did notice some secret suits in the back here. That actually looks kind of cool. I like that. I am tempted, <laughs> but I do remember, oh, the beautiful shirt. That looks incredible, but I know that Packy said something about a tie for some reason. So I think I am tempted by that We've black suit. I, I think, I think I am. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Because I think he looks really nice in that. I think he looks really nice. I'm getting it. Gonna break some hearts in that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's looking good. He's looking good. The top works, but the bottom is all wrong. What's wrong with the bottom? Oh, yeah, because I've got wrong shoes on. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we need to change our shoes. I, I didn't realize... Um, I want the same shoes that I already own. I don't want to have to go back to my apartment and change my stupid shoes. I'll just buy some new shoes. They're only $200. That's not too bad. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is head down to the pier so i shall meet you guys there okay so uh we're at the pier i don't know where L let's just check the mini map there's nothing around so maybe we just keep walking around having a look oh i see it i see something there's someone up here. Who is it? Oh, hang on. Whoa! A haunted house thing! I would love to go on that. Hello? Nico! How are you? Mrs. Oh. Faustin. It's nice to see you. It's Mikhail's wife. I'm okay. You know, it's difficult. Yes, very difficult. I was, uh... Sorry to hear about your husband. Were you? Maybe, unlike that treacherous rat Dimitri. 
He and I are not friends. My husband was not perfect. Far from it. He was awful. A murdering, drug-addicted bully. In many ways, the world is better off without him. But now I am alone. I'm, uh, sorry about that. And my daughter grows up without the father. She's learning a bitter lesson very early. Yes, he's bad. And now the money is gone, the house got repossessed, and we are living in a one-room oh, apartment. No. The land of opportunity. No. I'd rather be back in Russia. At least there, people don't pretend life has any pleasure. Mm. Do you need money? I need more than that. I need someone to come and get the man to leave my daughter alone. I can see he is a slimeball. I think he is trying to turn her into a stripper, or even worse. What guy? Some slime ball hangs out on Dillon Street in Shuttler. I can't do much for you. But I will get this slime ball to leave your daughter alone. Nico, thank you. But please, no more killing. No more killing? Can we do it without killing? Wow. Oh my gosh. Seeing Mrs. Forston again, Mikhail's wife, I don't know if Nico feels really really guilty for that he did seem quite taken aback and and quite like he just wanted that conversation to end because as we all know Nico killed Mikhail and the struggles that that Mrs. Forster is going through is on, on Nico's hands on, on his conscience and this is the very least that he could do for her, he would feel quite bad about that, and, and I think he does. I think he would. This is some way that Nico can sort of make up for what he did, but I, I did not expect that Mrs. Boston would be struggling for money. But no, the bank has taken her house, it's been repossessed, she lives in a one bedroom apartment. I did kind of have, have hope that her life would get better without Mikhail, but no, not at all. So what can I do for this guy? Can I... She doesn't want me to kill this guy. Do I have to? Hey, slime ball. Why does every Russian in the city call me that? What do you want, shit face? <laughs> I want you to stay away from Anna Faustin forever. Yeah, and I want a blowjob every morning for the rest of my life, but we don't all get what we want. In this case, I am going to get what I want. Chase him down? I've already got him. Get out the little pistol or something. Do I have to kill this dude? Oh, there's a cop just there! Oh my god! <laughs> I think I will... Um, shoot him away from Mr. Policeman. I'll just wait until this slime ball goes away from the policeman. Do I have to kill this dude? I think I... Do I have to kill him? Mrs. Faustin said no more killing, but I don't have... I And stay down. No choice. I didn't have a choice there. I did. I didn't have a choice. I didn't want to kill that guy, but there was no no other choice. I I had to. I had to. I had to. Nico, get in. I hope we don't tell her that we we killed that guy. I hope, I hope not. Okay, look, someone I haven't been out with for a long time, and I've really wanted to, is little Jacob. I would like to take him out somewhere. Will he go out eating with me, please? Hello, Jacob. You want to get a meal or something? Yeah, man. Yeah, see, man. Come back about two o'clock, see? Sorry, man. <gasps> it's midday. Oh, he's upset. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we know that he's awake from 2 p.m. I cannot believe that he's sleeping at that time. 
Okay, well, in the in the meantime, then, I'm just going to wait because I do want to go out with little Jacob. I've waited patiently. It's two o'clock. Little Jacob, if you don't come out with me, I will be crying. Please. Mr. Jacob, it's Nico. Do you want to get something to eat? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. Mama, I'm about an hour. I'm yeah. on my way. Oh, I haven't seen him for ages. We are so close to him too. I've missed this guy. He is a true friend of Nico Bellic. He is a true friend. A, just a true wonderful person. And Nico has so few of them around, honestly. Hi. Oh, hi, it's so nice to see you. How's things? How you been? Are you okay? <laughs> Let's go, Star. Oh, yeah. Um, I remember last time that he really liked Cluck and Bell. Nico, Nico, all my man, man, Roman. I'm still gambling all his money out here. I'm afraid that that is what Roman will do with any money he gets. Mm. Hopefully Mallory will be able to straighten them out one day. Mallory, I find that and I'm looking for her, you know. Hopefully he won't gamble her away as well. Oh. Sometimes I think he would put her on the table if he had the chance. Mm. It doesn't hold on to much for long. I'm amazed he managed to save enough money to be able to afford the cab depot in the first place. Seeing, seeing, there's always people around for lending money to a man, especially if the man have a habit like Roman. Mm -hmm. Seeing? Sure. You think Roman's addicted to gambling? I think I'm a real problem. Channel him can't throw him money away to them con man in a star. I'm a real idiot, you know. Maybe his problem. Maybe he just need to get something out of his system. He don't like the cars and the guns as much as you and me do. <laughs> Any money I and I get to them, spend upon sisters are sensible. I don't throw my money away, you know. Mm. Yeah, I think, I honestly do think that Roman does have a proper problem with gambling and I feel so bad for him. Shit, I know. That's why we're here, because I know you like it. Yo, the bell met the best chicken in a bread, man. I know. Yard, man. Okay. Come on. Where's my car? Oh, little Jacob, honestly, my car was literally just here. They've moved my car somewhere. It's nowhere now. Oh, we've got to take this one. Get out. Please, get out. I'm sorry. Oh, look at Jacob just pulls the person out as well. I love that. <laughs> I, I did have a car, but it's gone now, which is fine. I really liked that conversation with, with little Jacob. I, I would... I want to see more. So I don't know how interesting it is for you guys to see all these hangouts when the game is so long and I probably should be focusing on the missions. But sometimes I just like to just play and always do something different. Bye. Good times, man. Respect, yeah? Yeah. See you. It's nice to see you, LJ. He's lovely. I really enjoy him. Okay, what we're going to do now is go and see Packy. It's next on our list. So, off we go. We're wearing our suit as requested. So, this is what we're going to get up to today. I love the stormy weather. The crashes of the thunder, the lightning, the rain. Surprisingly, it hasn't made the handling of the car any more different or more difficult. So that, that's quite good. I have noticed that playing GTA Online, when it snows, it, oh, it's so annoying to drive the car around in the snow. I hate when they do that at Christmas time. It's interesting for a day or two, but then no, I don't want the snow anymore. Ah, oh, well, here we are coming up to Packy's place. Oh, LJ, hi. Yo, Nick, I have a brother, man, Jacob. Listen, we've been friends for a long time, see? Four months ago, we need to buy some guns, see? Thanks, Jacob. 
I appreciate that. There we go. So now Jacob likes you a lot. You can use his special ability. You can call up Jacob and select guns. He will arrive at a location near you and sell you guns and equipment at discounted prices. You guys have been mentioning this for a long time, but I just haven't because I've got so much money that I'm not doing badly for by paying full price. But the fact that he arrives near me is really helpful. So I don't have to keep going to like the ammunition kind of stores, which is good. It's good. Okay, so this mission for Packy. What are we up to? Three leaf clover. Oh my goodness. Wow. There he is, Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers. The two that count. Oh. Derek and Jerry. Oh. Hi. Derek Hi. has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican Coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh, no offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in Brett Halfwit? <laughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like wow. that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family. Or I will fuck with yours. Don't like him. Don't like him. Don't like Jerry, Gerald. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Okay. It, it, it. Do we, we not get nowhere without some wheels? Do we not get told what we're doing, Packy? Nico, we're gonna need a car. Yes, I know, but I... oh, you're gonna need to tell me what I meant. What what we're doing? F that, man. F that. We're going so to the bank. Up, a robbing. Let's do oh, this. Anger. Robbing the bank. Fucking hell! We're gonna be robbing the bank. Are they good? Uh, 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 All right, <laughs> here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosive. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First. You're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's PE4, not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? The expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. <laughs> really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. 
If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Mm. Okay, and Nico is not surprised that we're going to rob a bank. I am going to call up Roman and tell him what we're doing. Nope, he doesn't want to know. Um, this is... This is surprising. We are off to rob a bank. Um, with this absolutely dysfunctional mess of a crew that just keep fighting, that keep arguing, they have all just snorted copious amounts of cocaine. How on earth is this going to go right? This is a terrible crew. I am not a huge fan of the McCreary's and honestly at this stage I don't like Francis but at this stage I have to say that Francis uh, apart from Kate of course is the best one here and that's saying something all right so let's rob a bank three leaf clover this is called we got places to be don't we which is an interesting title as we all know that four leaf clovers are lucky so what is a three leaf clover? It's just a regular thing, nothing special. Unlucky? No, not unlucky. But I think we certainly could do with some luck going ahead here. I am actually wondering if we can stop by the weapon store just so I can get some armor. All right, so here we are. I suggest you guys get some armor too. Hey man, this is a clean business. No trouble. Yeah, no trouble. No trouble, I swear to you. Let's get the armor. Yep, yep. Do you guys need anything or no? Okay, we'll get out of the way, please. Later. Oh my gosh, this is not going to go nicely, is it? It's just going to be a complete mess. I love the Chinatown though. We have a, a brief moment of happiness before we have to go in and fail this mission, no doubt. Look at the pretty lights under there. That's so pretty, the purple. I love it. Well, here we are, Bank of Liberty. God, this bank is so massive. There is no way that these guys are going to get away with this. Let's make this clean, boys. No civilian casualties. Come on, this is not going to work. Wow. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! Oh none of you is going to get a medal for playing hero. All you're going to get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Oh! Oh, I thought he pressed the alarm button. Oh my Get god. Get on the floor! Now! But sir! You too! Okay, okay! Hey, yo! I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. <gasps> Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown mm -hmm. and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Gotta watch out for them. They have plans. Come on. At least... Oh man, I'm not. I don't like this. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why we... are you telling them we're brothers, you <laughs> idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? Oh I'm trying my to be God. honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. 
That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! My I'll God. let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! <gasps> Fuck Watch out! Oh! oh. We don't do nothing. Oh god, no. This is awful. What do I do? Oh, I'm panicking. I am literally panicking. How do I get down? Everyone, keep your heads down. I went to the green dot, but it wasn't wasn't the right place. I've got to go down here. Are, are there guards down here at all or Oh my gosh. This is insane. There's no guards here? Okay. That easy? No. No, 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 no. I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys. My God. There's going to be cops everywhere. Wow. Cops everywhere. Everyone's got to go right now. Michael's being shot. Oh, my God. We've got, like, the SWAT go, team. Go, go, go. Oh on, gosh! Oh people. noose. Okay, we've got noose on move us. In, move in. <gasps> what? What? How do we? You're trapped. Lay your weapons down and surrender. What's the best way out of here, then, guys? All right, boys. Follow my lead, and we might all make it home. Just shooting. Okay. We're gonna shoot our way out of here. Cover Packy and Derek. Damn it! Follow Packy and Derek. There are too many cops through the park. Oh! oh my god! Wow! Wow, get that guy! Come on! Oh my god, get him, get him! Get down! I have no idea what I just threw, but I think I threw something. There's one guy, one cop left. Get out of there, Nico! Follow Packy and Derek. Too many cops through the path. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa! Nice! Go, 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 go! Uh-huh! Yep, 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 come on, guys! Oh my gosh, please! Where can I go? You guys have taken the cover! You don't give me any cover! Oh! Get out of the damn way! Are there people behind too? Oh my god! Whoa! This is insane! We're not doing too badly! Come on, get in! There's no peace in this! Wow! 
probably gonna run out of bullets soon with all this. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Bullets. I am so glad I got some um armor. That was crazy. Now we have to get away from these guys. There is. Just come on. We can get away. Oh wow. Whoa. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, okay. So we're not, um, we're not taking out the helicopter. We're just going, going to the subway. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa. Where are you guys? Oh, there's enemies down here. There's more cops. My gosh. Too many cops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doing what I can, doing what I can. Whoa. Ah! Oh, there you are. Come on. There's no peace to be had here, Becky. Wow. Wow. Right, let's go, let's go. Whoa, more. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna die. I need some help. Where can I get help from? There's some help. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so, so much. Whoa. More cops? Yes, 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 yes. Whoa. This is exciting, but also not good. Along the tracks. Okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 go. Just run, just run, Nico. Just go. These cops is gonna fucking stop us. Yep, I thought we had to take out the cops. Go. Just go, guys. This is the worst it's ever been. There's five stars. Oh! Watch out. Uh huh. was unlucky. It wasn't anybody's fault what happened to him. And the explosive did its job. The both of you shut the fuck up. Michael's gone. Let's hit it. Yep, here, here. Go to the street level. Oh my gosh. There's some more health there, but I am full. I'm just gonna leave that there. In, fucking great, boys. Let's get up these stairs. in case I need to go back. I don't know how we're gonna get away from this. This is honestly so bad. So, so bad. Nico, make better choices, please. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? Where is everyone? More cops are joining in the party, boys. Gosh. Yep, come on, come on, get in. Get in the damn car! Shit, 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 Michael! Damn it! I could have been nice to him for once in my fucking life! Kid only wanted to help! Loved you, Packy. I was happy you spoke to him. 
didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that their son is lying dead on the floor of a bank in Algonquin. Well, give them his cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. No. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. All units, there's a robbery in progress. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Oh crap. I'm... <sighs> Ignore... This ain't easy on a come down. Everything. Ignore everything that you just literally saw. I don't know where I am right now. I just try to get out of here, guys. I am not happy. Okay, we got cops coming up. If we can just sort of. Get off the pot plant! Out of the way, guys! Ugh. Stressful! I just always have to keep looking at the map. And I need to get out of the circle. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. If we just can just get out of the circle with like no cops around for a long time yes <sighs> wow robbing a bank I don't think that Paki is the best of influences for Nico I don't really want to be with Paki anymore I'm not a fan of the McCreary's and this has just cemented that even more. Especially that Gerald, Jerry, don't like him. Don't like him. He was very rude to Nico and very intimidating. You know, going all tall and Jesus looking down Christ. at him. I mean, I don't know how tall Nico is. I'm guessing he may be around six foot or just under but it does seem like Gerald is massive and he uses that height to intimidate people ah uh, we're almost back home to Packy's house Packy's mother's house that's where we gotta go I knew it was his mum's house gosh thanks Nico you're a damn good man I wasn't just driving you two the money was in the car as well Remember that. Mm -hmm. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Please, no. Not interested. Jerry, don't take my number. Whoa. Um, we just got... $250,000 from that. $250,000 thousand dollars that's a lot of suits crazy uh, can i tell roman what we just did roman how's it going have you seen this bank heist on the <laughs> <Lumberland> <laughs> beat? that's some crazy shit i bet you wish you pulled off a job like that who says i didn't you're shitting me at me no fucking way who'd you do it with this fucked up irish family well some of them there are four brothers Two are gangsters, one's a cop, and the other is a heroin addict, ex-freedom fighter. And then there's a sister. A sister? Sounds more my speed than these crazy brothers. <laughs> I can tell from your voice that you like her cousin. Are you two doing it? I've got to go, Roman. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. My goodness. Wow. i not sure what I think about that mission i don't think it's very good um i'm gonna go and go to the united liberty paper look almost got killed by the cops um 
I'm really happy that I have a lot of money. I mean, that's really exciting. That's cool. Hello? Nico, my boy. This is Packy's brother, Gerald McGrew. Mm -mm 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 Jerry, how's it going? Good. Got a little business opportunity I need your help with. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come and see me at my ma's house. Use the back end. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. Don't like you. So we have a another mission there from Jerry, but I don't want to do that just yet. It's out of order, so I'm going to write that on my list. You know, I find it very interesting that they do call up about that when we're over this side, almost as if we should be doing that one next. But that's not how I want to operate. I know I'm very annoying, but uh, yeah, I want to do things in a different way. I want to do it the order that the missions sort of come up like I've been saying before Packy Nico I got a favor that no what is it well you've been spending time with the rest of my family I figured you may as well complete the set you remember my brother Derek came along on the bank job sure he's in a bad way last I heard he was spending his hours in some park in Akron go down and check on him Oh. Me and Gerald will cover any expenses incurred. All right, man. I'll go find you. Derek. Oh. It's over this side of the island. Oh, that's going to be so interesting. I've never been over that side of the island. And I think that is when we will make our first steps onto that i have no idea what this part of the island is like i know that this middle part sort of gives me that new york broadway kind of feeling but this actor i don't know that's gonna be really cool i'll write that one down on the list too that is exciting we have unlocked the a, a new part of the map which is really 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 cool i'm really excited to go and check that out and see exactly what it looks like so that should be the final section of the map, which worries me because I, I don't know how much longer is left in the game. And I do not want this game to finish anytime soon. I mean, I, I love it. I love it so much. Look at that statue. That's so cool. That is, he's got the trident. What is that, the god of water? I don't, I don't remember his name. But who's that guy that's with the trident and in the water? Please help me. R tell me who that guy is. And it's not Neptune, is it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, in, I'm just going to shut up before I embarrass myself any further. So we should be okay to head into this one. Working with or for Michelle slash Karen, look, I know that I'm soft, I'm a pushover, but she does seem to care about him, okay? Maybe she's not so bad. Portrait of a killer. Come in, Nico. How do you know it's me? Hi. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. <laughs> most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. <laughs> Funny, I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. What? I need you to go find someone for me. Confused. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. Uh -huh. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. Right. What's in it for me? Two things. One. You don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Mm. Two, maybe I will help you. Maybe I won't. Now get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go. Hmm. Oh, Nico, what were you going to say? He just... 
he was gonna say something what was he gonna say though okay so i think if we do help this guy he he seems to know that we are looking for someone and we are we know that nico oh this is your target find him and take him out Okay, so he's got short hair, no beard. We should be able to find him. Okay, look, I just thought I would be able to find a police car naturally because they are everywhere in this town. But there doesn't seem to... Oh, no, I don't want a taxi. Doesn't seem to be one, so let's, let's cause a ruckus. I know that we can just call up the police, but honestly, the police are usually everywhere. So where are they when you need them? And they're never here when you when they're never here when you need them. And they're everywhere when you don't need them. Alright. Well, in that case, we'll do it the boring way. Hello. You're through to the Liberty City Emergency Hello, Police. Hello, the LCPD. Where would you like us to send an officer? Here. Uh, the Triangle. An LCPD peacekeeper will be there as soon as possible, sir. Thank you. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. Ouch. Come back. I did. <laughs> go, 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 go. All right, this should shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be too hard. It's easier than the last police chase. It's a one star. There's barely any cops around. I think we'll be fine. And there we go. All right, let's pull over so we can go on the police computer. If we do help this guy at the newspaper, does that mean that he's going to help us find the guys that Nico has been looking for? Use the police computer to locate your target. Oh, we can search by photo. Right. That guy. This is my first time searching by photo. Adam Dimayev. All right, let's go find this guy. Adam Dimayev. He looks, he looks fine. He doesn't look like too bad of a person. Hang on, where are we going? Oh, okay. I just wanted to check because I, I, I'm not really ready to go to that new part, the new island yet. I want to go there only when we're doing, when we're going to find Derek. So, so it can be a surprise and remain a secret until then. So I'm excited and I'm also a bit sad and feeling funny because I don't want the game to be over and the fact that it gives us that third island makes me worry that it's close. No. I still think there's several, several hours left of gameplay though, really. Oh, we're here. Oh my god. There's a ton of guys. I found this place. There are a bunch of guys hanging what? around. Well, he must be in there, Nico. Dispose of them all. We're doing a favor for our comrades in the east. You better start doing me some favors soon. Huh? Oh, come on. Please. There's a police station. Is that a police station? I was going to snipe them. Oh my god, that's a police station right there next to this place where I'm going to be killing all these people. Come on now. Oh bugger, my car. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, Nico. Why is that? Oh. Um. Okay. 
Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a few like this just to make it... That's the guy, isn't it? They all look the same. They all look exactly the same. Is that someone? Come on, put your head up. Put your... S oh. Put your stinking head up. Damn it. Nope, we're fine. We're fine. I, I would like to get some little bit of height advantage though, I've got to say, but I don't really know how to get any higher. I can only see a couple of them around. Like they're, they're just not, they're just not high enough. Can I jump up there? Nico, please get up, please get up, please get up, please get up. Crouch, Nico. Okay, maybe we'll use a different gun, hey? I like this gun. Sounds really nice. There's a ton of guys there! This is honestly insane. Exactly. Die, you shit. <laughs> Put your head up. He's too scared. Don't get back with me. Be scared. There's another guy. It's the only guy left that I can see. I'll just get his little hand when he pokes it up. You like? Oh yeah, he likes. He likes. All right, I'm going for it. I've cleared out most of those guys. On the ground level anyway most of them are up up further just a couple of them to go not too bad not too bad so then how do we get up ah i see ladder come on nico come on nico get up get up nico where are the rest of them? Ah, huh. And there's another guy around the corner here too. Cool. There's only three more. We should be fine. guy <laughs> and one more fellow where is this last fellow there he is is that is that the dude can I execute him I don't think I can oh he died oh well it's cool that's cool. We got $6,000. Everything pales in significance compared to our bank heist fortune, really, doesn't it? Uh, nothing will ever be the same again. Did you serve your purpose? Yes. Then you are that much closer to finding the man you are after. That strange feeling deep inside? 
That's the feeling of satisfaction after you did something good. Congratulations. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> well, is he going to be true to his word? I don't know. I could not tell you if that guy is going to be true to his word or not. No idea. No idea. But we don't have any choice but to trust him. He seems to know that we're chasing someone, so that that's all we can do is just is just try. Look, I want to go on a date. Whether I go out with Kiki or Kate, don't know. Maybe we'll try Kiki again. Oh, we can dump her. Oh my gosh. Can I dump Kate? No. Ooh. Hi, it's me, Nico. So, listen, you want to hang out at all? Oh, you. I wondered <gasps> what had happened to you. Oh. I'm free now. Come pick me up. Cool. Honestly, it... Where did she, where, where, where? Oh, there, we're so close to her, wonderful. Okay, so I've got to try and remember, she's on the first part of the island, Kate's on this part of the island, Kiki is on this part of the island. Just so I know in the future how to get there quickly. Look, I, it hasn't been that long since I've been on a date with Kate. I find what she said to be a little bit I don't know. I found it to be demanding. A little bit high maintenance, if that makes sense. Because I, I, it hasn't been that long since I've seen her, and she's already nagging at me that I haven't, that she's forgotten about me. Just find that very high maintenance. And I don't know about you guys. But high maintenance quality is not really something that I like. <coughs> Easy going. Easy going. Happy, carefree, free spirited. That's that's where it's at. <laughs> that's where it's at, in my opinion. Here we are. Hi. Oh, look at this thing. Hi, Kate. Do you like my car? It's got a bullet hole, bullet hole in it. <laughs> Hi. Come on, you. Let's go. Um, where is she, where is she gonna enjoy though? Where would she enjoy? What about this 69th Street Diner? I forget what we. Oh, we played pool with her last time, didn't we? Yes. Okay. Well, let's take her to the diner. Sounds like a Tom, plan. No nice way to say this. <gasps> it's not really working. I'm not really feeling the pants. Whoa. I'm not really feeling the shoes. Oh, I see. So she doesn't like suits. Um. I find that rude. Not that she doesn't like suits, but if you're going on a date with someone, when you pick them up, or when they pick you up, it, is it appropriate to say you look like crap? I don't think so. I don't know, Kate. I don't know. That could have been serious. Oh, wow. She is a nag. Okay, well, look, I'm wondering if we shouldn't be dating Kate anymore. <laughs> she seems to be a little bit grumpy. I'll have to remember in the future just to dress like crap when I'm around Kate. Because she doesn't like suits. Well, I personally think Nico looks wonderful and if you don't want him kate there's many people who will like kiki all right well let's go hopefully she likes the diner she's not safe she's not even saying anything she's not even saying anything this is the most strange sort of date ever just riding here in total silence. Fantastic. My favorite. Oh, at least I've done something right. 
Thanks. You, you don't have anything to say. Oh, this is awkward. That was fun. So. So what? So you. So me what? So are you another one? Another what? Another one like my brothers, the tough guy with a death wish. A man eager to get into hell as soon as possible. Probably. How annoying. What is wrong with you people, you men? What's wrong with me? Quite a lot, I'm sure. Why don't you want to live? To live a normal life, I mean. Get married, have kids, not steal, rob, kill. It can't be easier than having a job, I mean. I don't know. I have lived a complicated life. I was in a war. Sounds like you still are. Mm. Maybe. Well, for a murdering, thieving idiot who can't talk about things, you're kind of nice. Thank you. Don't mention it. Hmm. I think I understand Kate's reservations. Maybe I was too harsh on her because, yeah, she sees Nico and she is just reminded of her brother and her entire family, really. And she doesn't want to get involved with something like that. She doesn't want that to be her future. But if she, she must surely know that if she chooses a life with Nico, if she continues dating Nico, then that's going to be her life too. And that's not what she wants. I think if I was Kate and if I really didn't like Nico's way of life and I didn't want that for myself, she should honestly just possibly call it off because I do feel that she doesn't want that life. Maybe she just she wants to change him. Maybe she thinks that he can be changed. He can live a straight life. But I don't know if he will. I don't know. I hope so. I hope so. Anyway, I think I will keep pursuing Kate and just try to make her happy with better clothes next time. I'm not trying my luck. Yes. Thanks for a fun time. Goodbye. Please, I have places to go. Okay, okay, I, I'm happy with that. I want to check our our stats with her. Oh, here we go. Kate fondness ninety one percent. Michelle fondness a hundred percent. Kiki is seventy one. All right, all right. Well, we're getting there. I'm going to finish this episode here, but I had a really nice time despite robbing a bank, even though I guess some people might class that as a nice time. It's not for me. I didn't know that we would be robbing a bank. So that was, that's interesting. Um, we've made a lot of money from that. A lot of money to go out and buy new clothes that Kate likes as she doesn't like this outfit, but I'm pretty pretty pleased with the progress we've now unlocked the third island so that is super exciting I love that I'm really looking forward to seeing what that looks like over there no idea so I'm guessing much much more of the same maybe it's more industrial at, at a guess maybe it's I, I'm guessing industrial because we don't really have like a full sort of industrial area so that, that's my guess for that one. But we are doing well with Kate. We have got a couple of new people to go and see. We've got Ray, Jerry and Derek, which I've never seen them before. So we are indeed very, very busy. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. I enjoyed it. I had a great time. I loved it as usual. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again really soon. Have a great day. Bye.